In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the new filter layers. You can find those in the layers panel. At the very bottom, there's this little button, two-tone button with a down arrow. This is the new filters that are available as layers. These are non-destructive. This is a really cool uh, option that we have in order to adjust uh, brightness, hue saturation, color balance, and desaturate an image based off of layer alignment. So this is very cool. These affect the layers that are below it. So notice as I move the desaturate layer underneath layer 10, that our background is desaturated and our foreground, our portrait is not. This is very cool. Now, if you select the eye icon, you're going to affect that property, that filter is going to turn on and off. If you click on the icon next to the word color balance, hue, saturation, brightness, this two-tone icon, if you double click here, it'll open up the property. Now, let's go ahead and turn on the saturation for our background layer. And now we have color balance selected here. I'm going to adjust. You can see that I can adjust all of the colors here. You can choose shadows and adjust those. Uh, we are going to undo that because I don't like it. And let's bring this back. Now, the nice thing is, is these changes are undoable, uh, both by using control Z to undo the, uh, the changes that you made, as well as simply by turning off or deleting this filter layer. Okay, so let's change our highlights. We're gonna add a little bit more red and adjust our magenta a little bit. And here you can see just on the background that yellow coming through. Let's preserve luminosity. Good. Okay. All right, so we're going to close this panel. If we want to disconnect the panel or undock it, this icon in the top left will do that. All right, so you can see the difference between those two options with that turned on for color balance. For hue and saturation, we can adjust here. And our saturation, we can drop to lift the saturation. Same thing with lightness. Again, you can see how much I can change this image without doing it destructively. This is real-time adjustment. It's very nice to be able to do this now. All right, so you can see here is the original image with our three different filter layers here, desaturation on the background if we want it, and very different image, very different image based off of this. And the nice thing is the filter property up here this one that looks grayed out, it is not grayed out. You can't apply it to a filter layer. And so just select the layer that you want to adjust. Let's say we want to make layer one our background. We want to add some Gaussian blur. We can click apply. We cannot apply a filter to a filter layer. All right, guys, if you have questions about the new filter layers, then put that in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.